Okay, um, Unit 9 Review Video, Part 2. This is just elimination. So, same deal as yesterday. I'm going to do one problem, you do the second one. And there's only six problems to do. So, test is tomorrow. We'll probably do a little review before we get into the test on block. So, you'll have some time to work it out. I'll do number one. You do number two. If you feel confident with these, go ahead and pause me. And we're far away. Why are you so far away? This is not good. Ugh. Okay. Good. Awesome. Eh, maybe not. Whatever, it's all good. Um, okay, number one, so elimination. I'm trying to eliminate a variable, and I can eliminate both of these very easily uh, because I have opposites. You are looking for opposites, that's the key. So the opposite of negative one x or negative x is positive one x or positive x. Because of that, they line up really nicely. I'm eliminating them because negative x plus x is zero. Okay, not zero x, zero. And we don't have to write zero, so we're good. Draw a line underneath. And this is also called the addition method. Okay, so I'm going to add everything else down. Okay, so positive 8y plus 9y is 17y. Okay, and negative 11 plus negative 23, or negative 11 plus a negative 23. Uh, I should have a negative 34. Okay. So now this is an easy one-step division problem because I'm trying to get the 17 away from the y. Divide by 17 on both sides, and I'm left with y is going to equal negative 2. Okay, awesome. Uh, now I have to plug that negative 2 back in to one of my original y values so I can solve for x. Uh, so it doesn't matter which one. You may like one more than the other. It doesn't really matter. Uh, sometimes it's really simple. You're like, ooh, I definitely want to plug into that one because it's way easier than the other equation because there's a lot going on. So if I put negative 2 in there, I'm left with this. Negative x uh, plus 8 times negative 2 equals negative 11. Negative x minus 16 equals negative 11. I'm going to add 16 to both sides. Negative x is going to equal 5. Now this is tricky. This is a negative 1x. I've got to get that negative sign out of there. Okay, I know that's weird, but I have to get rid of the negative. So I'm left with x is going to equal negative 5. So my answer to this system is negative 5 comma negative 2. Okay, pretty good. Um, I'm going to plug them in really quick just to make sure. I did a lot of work here, so I want to make sure I don't make a silly mistake. Uh, I'm going to take this other equation. That's an x value, so I'm going to put it right there. So negative 5, right? That becomes a negative 5. Uh, and 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. So negative 5 plus a negative 18 should equal negative 23, and it does. So I'm good to go. I know that I have made a good choice. <laughs> Um, if you have not paused me already, go ahead and pause me and try to do this one. Um, I'll probably work it out really quick because I want to make sure you understand it. So hopefully you've unpaused and we're good. I've got a negative 7 and a positive 7x. Those eliminate because they add up nicely. Okay. Adding down, this is a negative 4y equals uh, 20. Divide by negative 4 on both sides and I'm left with y equals negative 5. Okay. But now I can plug that back in. I definitely want to plug it into this equation. It looks a little bit easier. So negative 5 goes in here for y. Remember, make sure what value you got, okay? Um, because if you crossed out the y's, you would be plugging an x in, okay? But we crossed out the x's, so we have a y. So negative 5 goes right here. So 7x plus 2 times negative 5 equals 18. 7x minus 10 equals 18. Add 10 on both sides. And I'll have 7x equals 28, and my answer is x equals 4. The system solution is 4 comma negative 5, and I'm done. I'm not going to plug it back in, but you get the idea. All right? Let's go on to something a little more challenging. What happens when nothing adds up nicely? Okay? We have to do something called a force. So when we force equations to look like opposites, we are picking a number, which you pick. It's not just something that you should know. It could be anything. Uh, that makes opposites. So let's take a look. Not opposites. Not opposites. And it doesn't matter what these are because you can't eliminate those. Um, let's make it a little bit easier. So there's a couple things we could do here. If you said, oh, well, I want to multiply the top equation by 10 to get opposites, that's totally cool. Um, I'm actually going to go a different direction. I'm going to multiply both equations by 3. Because if I multiply the 5y by 3, I'll get 15y. And that will be the opposite that I'm looking for. So it, no way is right or wrong. I just decided to go a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, so 3x 
plus 15y equals 9. And I'm going to rewrite this second equation just so I don't make a mistake because they are not lined up really nicely. Okay. Now I've got my elimination. Okay. Now I'll add down. Uh, positive 3x plus a negative 10x is negative 7x. And the y's are gone. And then this is going to be 9 plus a negative 30, which is negative 21. It's negative 7x. I'm going to divide by negative 7 on both sides. And I'm left with x equals 3. Now, I'm going to plug that back in. I'm definitely taking the, this top equation. But remember something important. You cannot plug in this x equals 3 into something that you changed. You need to plug it into something that was original. Because if you change it and plug it into something that changed, you're liable to make a big mistake, and you're liable to make a completely wrong error on this type of stuff, which is a total double negative. So a wrong error might be positive. So forget that whole sentence, because that's not even language artsy. But who cares? This 3 is going to go right here. I should have shut up after the first one. 3 plus 5y equals 3, minus 3 and minus 3. I'm left with 5y is going to equal 0, which is fine. The only thing that y can be is 0. So my answer is the x value is 3, the y value is 0, and I'm done. Okay. Uh, hopefully you paused me and you tried that one. If not, let's work it out. Could do a couple of different things here. I could multiply the bottom equation by negative 3 to get 9x, or I could multiply the top equation by negative 2. I'm going to choose that one. Top equation by negative 2 because that will make this y a 2y, a positive 2y, and then I'll be able to eliminate that. So distributing everywhere, uh, I get 18x plus 2y equals negative 2. Remember, you're distributing to all three things in that equation. Uh, negative 3x minus 2y equals 17. I just rewrote that second equation down here. Now I know that my y values will eliminate. I'm adding down. 15x is going to equal 15. Pretty simple. So x is going to be 1. Nice equation. Uh, I'll plug it back into the first equation, the original. So if x is 1, negative 9 times 1 is negative 9, minus y equals 1, plus 9 on both sides, and negative y is going to equal 10, but be careful, that's a negative 1y. Uh, you can probably see that. Uh, divide negative 1 on both sides, and my answer is y equals negative 10. So my answer for this system is x, ooh, x is 1 and y is negative 10. Okay. Plug it back in to see. Uh, last two that we'll do, a lot more challenging because both equations need to be multiplied by something to get the answer. And so you are forcing both equations by two different numbers. So this is harder. Okay. This is much more challenging. Okay. Not opposites, not opposites. Okay. I need to make opposites. You can choose whichever one. So a 4 and a 5, the thing they have in common is 20. Right? So I would need one to be a negative 20, and the other would have to be a positive 20. 5 and 2, 10 is the next common number that they both share. So I would have to multiply 1 by 2 and 1 by negative 5. I'm going to do that to eliminate really, really big numbers. So I am trying to get the y values to look like 10 and negative 10. So it doesn't matter what order they are. You can make anything happen. I'm going to multiply this top equation by 2 which will give me a 10y. I need the bottom equation to look like negative 10. So I am going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. 8x plus 10y equals 40. And negative 25x minus 10y equals negative 40. Okay? I've gotten what I wanted here. I've got the opposites for the y's. So that crosses out. Now I'm going to add down. Uh, negative... 17x is going to equal, well, that's easy, 0. So the only thing x can be is 0. Right, so when I plug in 0, I'll just take the top equation or the bottom equation, I'm sorry. Uh, remember, you can't plug it into something you changed. I'm going to plug it into the bottom equation, so this would cancel. And then I would have 2y equals 8. So y is 4. Wow, that was super easy. Okay, So my answer is 0, comma 4. Let's plug it into the top equation just to make sure, right? x is 0, so that would cancel. 4 times 0 is 0. And 5 times 4 is 20. Done. Cool. Hopefully you pause me. Uh, we'll work that out for the sake of time because we're nearing 10 minutes. I'm just going to give you the answer to that one. We'll talk about it in class tomorrow. Uh, for number 6, your answer is negative 5 comma negative 3. Okay, so just be careful. This one's got a couple of negatives in here, um, but you'll be fine. Test tomorrow. 
probably do a quick around the world. Um, first half a block, and then we'll test for the rest of the block. 20 question test, pretty similar, pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't think there's any really too many challenging questions on it, but uh, this is one of the easier units to test on. All right. Help session, Wednesday morning.